Hey guys, welcome back to One Man Op Fishing. Mike here. Ooh, it's a brutally hot day in August, just so you know. Yesterday it was 98, and that wasn't the feels like, it was actually 98. Uh, today it's not as bad, it's about 94 degrees right now. It's uh, almost five o'clock in the afternoon, 4.51 in the p.m. I'm gonna try and catch a few bass today. I was working in the yard a little bit today, I had to do some stuff, and. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty pretty wiped out uh, from being out in that sun for a couple hours. But uh, one benefit is I'll probably die of skin cancer before I die of anything else. So there you go, I guess that's a, a bright side of it. Anyway, let's get to it guys. Let's hope we can put some bass on the bank and uh, at least have a little bit of a good time. I have some shade trees lined up for myself today, which is one of the reasons I fished this spot in August because at least you got a little bit of cloud, a little bit of, uh, tree cover to get underneath so let's get to it one more time all right okay guys we're fishing with our Shimano SLX DC 30 pound spider wire braid fishing with a quarter ounce bullet weight a three yacht owner hook and a yum dinger pumpkin seed I had this one on last time I can't remember if I caught any fish with it though There's a fish. Yeah. Oh, no. What was that? I think I was on a weed. Ah, oh, man. Felt like okay, a fish. Okay, guys, we've been fishing uh, about an hour at this location. Caught the one nice fish about 10 minutes in, and nothing since. Not a, not a bite that I can register. Maybe there was something over there, but it could have just been a heavy weed at the bottom. So I'm going to make a trip around the corner, as I often do on this property. There's a small lake with a little fountain around the corner, and that's where I'm headed. Hopefully, i got about another half hour, maybe 35 minutes to fish. Hopefully, I can land one or two more. Um, that's just the way it goes in the summer. It's very hot, and uh, the fishing some, sometimes can slow down. Although, I have to say that the last... 60 days we've caught quite a few me and my buddies you know joe over at parabellum have caught a lot of big fish and that's what happens a lot of times in the summer you won't catch as many but you'll catch some big ones and he just caught another three pounds six ounce the other day a couple weeks before that he caught a couple of threes i caught that three and a half a few weeks back caught a four about six weeks ago four and a half actually so maybe it's a little slower but the bass get a little bigger so Let's see if we can't put one or two more on the bank. I'll be right back. Yeah. I'm gonna try one of these Z-Man. These guys are the, you know, you know what they call these. These things got so hot they got flattened out 
<laughs> that's okay. We can still make it work. Here we go. Let's see if anything's interested. Little, little smaller, little, little finessey, even though I don't like that word. Something's on there. There we go. Yeah. That's a good fish. Yes, he is. I got him. He's not going. A strong fish. Yes, strong. Yes. <laughs> Ate the Z-Man. Look at that. Just swallowed him down. Nice freaking fish. Come here, baby. Oh, I'm gonna have to get the gonna have to get the remover. No worries. Okay, we got her out. That fish goes a pound. You know, about a pound. Maybe a little more. Nice big fat some of them you get to see. The summer belly, just getting fat and full of juice, this guy. But uh, a really nice little fish and fought hard. I thought it was actually a little bit bigger than that. Thought she was a little bit bigger. All right, darling, you're going back right here. Ooh, right on the, the drain pipe. There you go. What are you doing? Okay, good. Okay guys, I apologize for the compressor noise right behind us. I don't know what that guy's doing. I don't see him cleaning anything, but he's obviously got something going on. All right, it was a pretty good day of fishing. Uh, it's the middle of August, it's hot. Uh, it was well over 90 today, 94, 95. And when that happens, the bass are gonna go deep. Um, as I said in the, in the break, I've been catching bigger fish, like these two fish today, neither one were dinks. You know, one was almost two pounds or right at two pounds. This one I just caught was a, a pound or a little better. So anything better than a pound is not, in my opinion, a dink. So there's the rating, you know, and we're gonna go through the whole rating system of fish one day soon. You know, when I say I have a good fish, a very good fish, you know, a hog, you know, different sizes, but uh, a good day of fishing. We've been out about an hour and a half, give or take a few minutes, and uh, I'm calling it quits. Gotta go home, you know, get a shower, go for a walk or go for a walk, get a shower make dinner, all the things you have to do uh, on your day off. So Mike here with One Man Op Fishing. Thanks for coming out with me, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. <laughs>